Okay, guys, I'm here today with Bruno Moffacini. Huge honor for me. Guys, here, uh, Bruno is 10 times world champion in the same division. So he's the only person in the entire sport that has done that. And I used to say that, in my opinion, he's the best pound for pound in the history of Jiu Jitsu because he's the only one who has won 10 world titles. And uh, I used to train for him in Sao Paulo between 2009 and 2013 at Alliance Sao Paulo. And he was always the most impressive guy training to watch because you we would see him like as a rooster going against like the very heavy guys. And these heavy guys couldn't even find him. He was so quick and so so good with his techniques that nobody could see him during the roll. Like he, he would move so fast. And uh, we shot an entire, entire instructional series with him about how to beat the bigger guy, right? How to fight against the bigger and heavier opponent. And uh, this first part of the series was all about guard. So what he, does he do against the bigger guys playing guard? So today he's gonna show us one of the techniques that uh, he likes, that's kind of like a collar drag that he comes up in the leg drag and instead of passing the guard, he jumps in the side control. So it's a very cool one and I'm very excited to learn from him. There you go. Thank you Bernard for having me. It's always an honor to be here with you, man. Awesome, thank uh, you. Okay. Today, guys, we're gonna work uh, kind of like collar drag with the cross collar paint control and the paint grip. It's a position that I kind of like, if you're really comfortable to play with big guys, uh, bring your knee up the mat, Bernardo. The only thing that I cannot let happen is Bernardo get close and inside work my grip. And every time that I have the cross collar grip and the pants control, if he try to get engaged over here, go Bernardo, I'm gonna bring my foot to his hip. That way I'm gonna stop him and I'm gonna work from here. Not the case today, he just had the collar control. So I have the cross collar grip, the pants control. I'm gonna bring my leg out and I'm gonna step my foot between his legs. So what I'm gonna do now, I want him to post that hand on the floor. So I'm gonna scoop my butt out the side and I'm gonna break his posh all the way diagonal to make him post that hand, like here. That's what I need. So I could find the angle already. That's what I need, all I need. So now I'm gonna push over here the collar control. I don't want him to come back to my guard. And I'm gonna come up on my knees, right here. So what I cannot let happen is to let this foot hit inside. Otherwise I'm gonna get stuck over here. So that's why as I come up on my knees, I'm gonna bring his foot off the mat, like here. I'm gonna do one step, two steps, and I have the control of the leg here ready. So, uh, there's so many variations over here, but uh, along my career, you know, I always, I, I always used to like just sweep someone, you know, and that is personal guard, but I had to change my game and I always try to connect something else with a better position. That's what I'm gonna do today. Look, I'm just gonna open my knees. As his leg goes down, I'm gonna step back and bring my leg behind his leg. Here, that's what I need. My next step now is I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna do a long step to step over the leg. At the same time, I'm gonna have to push with the grip that I have in the collar. I'm gonna push his chest over here, drop my knee, and I'm gonna get the cross collar grip to connect my elbow with the hips, and I'm gonna end up here in the leg drag. I could just like let it go the paint, control the head, and move side control. Uh, the next situation here is it's a pretty common situation that you we see a lot some guys doing to avoid guard pass. So we have the cross collar grip here. I have the paint control. I'm gonna step out, bring my foot between his leg. It's really important to bring the foot on the same line as my knee over here. I'm not bringing my foot over here. that will be hard to scoop my butt out. Look here, my foot coming here. Look how I'm gonna pull the collar to break his portion and how I'm go back behind and how I'm scoop my hips out over here to find the angle. I'm gonna push over here, come up on my knees, that foot have it off the mat, one step, two step, have it have the leg control. So, uh, the next situation here, it's a pretty common situation. I then push the leg, I'm gonna step back, bring his leg, bring my leg, sorry, between his leg. I'm gonna step over the leg, look how I'm gonna do a long step, and I'm gonna push the collar down. I'm gonna use my hand to push his chest, put his back on the floor. But, as you guys can see, he has the collar control, and a lot of times when you try to pass a guard, some people like to avoid the guard pass, it's gonna expose the arm. That's what's gonna happen now. As I'm stepping over here and putting his back on the floor, look his arm over here. I'm just gonna let it go the pants, control the elbow, bring my knee, my shin on the armpit, and I'm gonna throw that leg over the head for the arm to be. So guys, look how awesome is this, because 
first about the sweep, right? So I'm heavier than him. First thing he does, he doesn't let me approach him. He doesn't let me engage with him. So I have my leg up here to try to get engaged with him. He controls my pants. He does the, the collar drag here. Now he's gonna come up, right? And he has my leg pinched over there. So he knows that I'm gonna try to keep my balance like this. So he's gonna step backwards, put his leg be behind my leg and take me down here. So guys, look at this. I, I can picture every heavy guy doing that. Bruno is way lighter than me, right? So I don't want him establishing inside control. And that's what I'm expecting, right? I'm expecting that he's gonna try to establish inside control. So I'm just gonna stretch my arm and push him away. Now look how quick he's gonna go to the arm bar. This is amazing. And I'm not expecting that. So I have seen him doing that like hundreds of times in training and even in tournaments as well. Many times we were watching one of his tournaments and then he starts the match, he's trying to pass his opponent's guard, and boom, he has the arm bar. So that's exactly how he does. So that was very cool, bro. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, Bernardo. Awesome.